So it can strengthen your immune system and it may help dissolve blood clots, but it's not a super pill, it's a super food. University of Missouri nutrition professor Susan Mills Gray is here to talk about natto. So if this is something that we have never heard of, we're not alone. Correct. This is a traditional Japanese uh, dish, mm -hmm. and now it's made its way into the United States, and it's growing in popularity. It's also gaining a lot of attention in the nutrition research world. Okay, and is that why we're talking about it today? Right. Uh, early research that they have done on rats show that this product can dissolve blood clots. So if you're someone who has to take prescription blood thinner for a variety of heart disease issues, this could be a product that you could add to your regimen. Okay, and this is something, right, it actually, it's from Japan. Right. Originally, how it was made, it's been made for centuries. They would take soybeans, and that's what this is, it's soybeans. They would uh, boil them, and then mm -hmm. they would wrap them in rice straw. And then they would leave rice them wow. for weeks and weeks until the carbohydrate or the sugars would ferment it. Now, in today's time, it's made by boiling the uh, soybeans and then treating them with a particular bacteria called Bacillus subtilis. Okay, so maybe this is some of the uh, scent I'm kind of getting. I want yes. to take a closer look. I, I want look. you to show this because we want to show everyone the uh, texture. This is an acquired wow. taste. It's very, this is very stringy. It's very stringy. It's extremely slimy. Uh, it, does, it has a sort of a nutty flavor. A lot of people can't handle the smell and it's definitely an acquired taste. Yeah, we can so, say that, right? It's so do you want a big scoop? <laughs> I mean, I think we're gonna have to go with a big scoop so we get the full Right, you experience. go right ahead. And, and guys, again, if you didn't catch it, it's fermented soybeans. Fermented soybean. It looks, on the camera, it looks like uh, okay. like a pork and bean, <laughs> baked bean, but it's not. And you're gonna find this in specialty grocery stores. So while you eat that, I'll oh. talk. Okay, we're gonna try that, yeah. So you're gonna find this in some of your specialty stores here in the city. And it usually comes packaged in these little styrofoam packages. And you'll okay, find I'm gonna you gotta prepare yourself before right. you ever try this. It comes with some seasoning packets, but it Ooh. comes in these little styrofoam packets, and then the fermented bean is underneath this. Oh, so how fun is it that? Took all, it took a whole package <laughs> of this to make this plate. Uh, but let me tell you before we we leave, this is also not just a product that possibly might help people with heart disease. This is a superfood in the fact that it's high protein, high fiber high calcium, vitamin C, potassium, and iron. And it, because it's a fermented product, it is a probiotic superfood. Okay, so, so that means it could actually help your immune system yes, as well. Yes, because it really protects that gut, and that's where a lot of our immune system um, uh, uh, effect really starts. So again, this is something that you probably want to take a little bit at a time. Uh, generally, you wouldn't just eat it alone. You would mix it with some I, rice or some vegetables. That's what I was gonna say. You definitely have to mix this up if yeah. maybe you're not used to the yeah, you want taste. This is something that's going to take you some time to acquire. But one last thing that I would share, if you're listening today mm -hmm. and you're thinking, wow, I'm taking prescription blood thinners, maybe this would help me. Mm -hmm make sure you talk to your physician because if you're taking prescription medication, we want to make sure that when you add a natural product that can mm -hmm. do something similar, uh, that you talk with that physician. And, and you keep, wouldn't want it to counteract right. some Right, and keep medicine. in mind, these are originally, uh, are, we're still in the stage where we're, we're testing with rats. They will do human studies soon. Okay, well, let's uh, show exactly I what think we this should get Bill over here. one more time. Yeah, we, <laughs> you know. Look how stringy and, and it's slimy and it's very but slimy. It, it is good. It is good. It's, it, but you it, just we, need it to mix in with something else. Right. Okay, and the health benefits might be just the champion there. Right. And so, again, you're going to hear more and more about this because <laughs> it is on the horizon as a superfood. Well, thank you so much, you're Susan. Welcome. We appreciate it.